Welcome to Love and Legacy. Welcome to Love and Legacy. <laughs> what, is married already? Yeah, newly married. Yeah. Just getting into the groove of things. Still figuring things out, how to flow with each other and this newfound responsibility and role that you have, that you requested. <laughs> Yeah, and sometimes, and even for the old uh, people that's been married for a while, that just that can't make it work for some reason. Like you tried everything, and you still hate each other. So you you um we, we some provide some suggestions because we've been doing it pretty good for fourteen years now. Pretty decent. It's not nothing's perfect, but you know we learned some good tips along the way yep. that might be able to save you some heartache and maybe save you some time. Yes. So. Uh, for Mary, what now? Um, you know who we are. I'm Brandon. Uh, you can find more about me on VelocityUnleashed.com um, and what I do there uh, for on my individual. And uh, my wife, uh, I call her W. So if I say W, that's my wife. <laughs> yes. So you can find out uh, more information about me, what I like, what I do on my website, it's RileyApproach.com, where I go by Mama Bear. That was a cute nickname that Brandon gave me not too long ago, actually. And it kind of stuck, and I turned it into something. So um, please check it out. I also have a YouTube channel as well. So does Brandon. So if you want to know more about us individually, please take a look at those things. But here, we're going to be doing this together. Um, so let's start off. We're going to do a little bit of an icebreaker, right? You yeah. got a question? <laughs> yeah, lots of a lot of things. But when you go to those YouTube videos, you go subscribe. You like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. They said that you got to tell people, you got to ask people to do that. So we're asking you if you like what you see. Um, like and subscribe. Now, we ain't asking you to just like do that just because if you like what you see just do that it's not not a forced thing but we try to uh, make good stuff for you to look at and if you like it just you know come join the club okay so what's the icebreaker question da -da -da -da. <laughs> okay let's see all right so i'm choosing let's see if we can travel anywhere together right now where would we go um, we're going to India. Mm, okay. Why India? Thora, India. But Hare Krishna for all them devotees out there. I'm a devotee myself, so I would love to go hang out with Krishna and all his temples and such and so forth. So that's a good answer. I'm thinking since it's cold here, I want to go somewhere warm. Mm. So I don't know where. Warm it anywhere tropical that's not rainy or cold. I'm down for it. I don't do well in the cold, you know this. So, anywhere warm, get some sun, I'm good with that. Hey. Nowhere specific, just warm. Jamaica, if it's warm there, I'm down. Getting a lot of traffic from Argentina, yeah. Buenos Aires, we might check y'all out. Yeah, y'all burning up the pages. We appreciate that. Um, so back to our channel. So what we're focused on is we're married. What now? What that looks like. What next steps should you aim for? Where you at to get your flow? Um, so we're going to be talking about what things are we talking about here? Yeah, we got finances, relationships, and your kids, yes. basically. Yes. Um, for And this is the cool thing about the channel is... We're, we're so cool with each other like for this so long. I can give you a, I mean, I, mean, I can talk f uh, freely and give you really good candid information for most, for the male point of view. Um, just because, <clears throat> I'll, excuse me, I'll tell you things that you might not hear, but maybe some things that you should hear. Mm. Um, like for example, with finances. If you're the breadwinner, um, in your relationship, and then you, and you're the male, and, and it's for the f females too, because right. you could make the, you could be making the cheddar cheese, the chips, <laughs> the snippy snaps, all those things that make the bacon go sizzle. So you, either or, but from the male perspective, is you have to be transparent. Transparency is your friend. Um, just because you're making the money, don't mean you get to 
have all these retarded, excuse me, that's the wrong word. You have all these obtuse um, <laughs> ideas about not only how you treat your person, but how you treat your um the quarterback of your team, and we talk about that. I'm not going to go to it in here, but the, the woman, it, uh, the mom, is the quarterback of the house. And if you don't know, and Jesse Owens talks about that. If you ever, if you want to go see where this comes from, Jesse Owens talks about how the woman should be the quarterback of the house. She calls the plays. She's throwing the hail mary. She's handing the ball off. She's doing all those things, and um, especially when it comes to finances. What do you What do you think? I agree. Um, transparency is key. Especially when it comes to money, uh, a lot of friction comes from money, either not having it or not managing it well. So absolutely, transparency is the way to go. Um, that comes with access. Um, if you don't want to do the joint accounts or the pooled income, you can just simply allow your, your partner to have access to those accounts so that they know what's going on. And no one's blindsided. It's not about hiding anything. It's not about making sure you save a little bit just in case things don't work out. Yeah. It's truly about being honest and being open. And you don't want to go into any situation already with one foot out of the door because that ain't going to get you nowhere. Yeah, forget what your people told you. If your people told you those type of things, mm -hmm. sometimes that's up to generational. Yeah. You're messing your head up because... <laughs> No one told them they get stuff. It'd be like the five heartbeats. I wasn't going. I wasn't nothing. So you ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> so he called Big Red in the situation, and he tell you his office hours, and you know all about what that is. <laughs> right. And so what I'm saying is, is just like don't hurt. Don't for any for, for the people that's taking that step um, in marriage. If marriage, if it's, you've been doing it for a thousand years, or you just started yesterday, you. There's, that works from today and all the way to there about your transparency because you don't want to have the other person guess. Because if you don't want to have them guess, then you won't have like you shouldn't be playing no guessing game about certain stuff yeah. because then you know, um, and that's for your notes. Don't have your um, people guessing. Like don't have no mystery about that. There shouldn't be no secrets about where the money's at money especially if you have a partner like if you dating that's different but you're not dating now right you're committed eyes wide open when you walked into it no matter how you got into the situation it's real now so mm -hmm. so the next so yeah for your notes if you have any questions let us know uh, maybe we, maybe we got it wrong <laughs> Maybe you should be hiding. Maybe you should be hiding your money and things. Maybe we've been doing it wrong. Let us know. <laughs> but uh, logic says that that may not, that may not be the best way. But hey, let us know what you think. Um, children. Um, as far as being married and stuff. In my opinion, if you're gonna be the family man, you know, do stuff with your kids. <laughs> right? Don't send your kids off nowhere to go have fun. You know, do have fun with your kids if you can. I mean, I mean, of course, um, you want to have time for just you and your spouse. But, you know, you got to, I would say the more you can in integrate the children with you doing things, you shouldn't be frustrated doing stuff with your kids. It should be fun. Mm -hmm. um, like, remember that time when we was uh, in, in the, um, it was a graduation and even the dad was all missed, all mad because he just had to pick all his stuff up. Oh right, yeah. When they were shopping. When they for were shopping, the, you don't want to be uh, that type. The of incoming thing. freshman coming you, in school. Yeah, you don't want to be that type of parent and all disgruntled. <laughs> yeah. Um, about trying to have fun because it, it won't be kids for forever. Absolutely, I was thinking the same thing. I read about the analogy of the bag of marbles when it comes to time, how time goes when you. And it goes for kids, but it also goes for your parents, your spouse, everybody. You got a set number of opportunities in order to make an impact, in order to make memories. And eventually those opportunities are going to run out, whether your, your kids age up and become adults, whether your parents pass away, those mm -hmm. opportunities go away. So the best thing you can do for yourself and for the relationships that you build is take advantage of those opportunities. That's true. Um... 
for your notes, um, for something to think about um, in your married journey, and I guess this is more applicable to the new people uh, that's in the married club, we're really glad that you're here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're glad that you decided to join the married club because um, it's a wonderful club to be a part of because, right? Yeah, it's not a joy ride by no means, but it is absolutely a thousand percent worth it. Yeah, you earn having it. that partner, having that person that you can, you know, you can rely on, you know, you can trust mm -hmm. beyond a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. So for both of you who made it to this point in life where you said, you know what, this is my man, this is my woman type deal. My man, my man, my man. I know. It's not about catching release. It's catching hold. Right. Right. Yeah, catching hold on to each other. The Mount that trophy up on the wall. Don't let that fish go. Mount it up. Yeah. Preserve it. Yeah, exactly. And and it's just like that. Um, but the the biggest part is y'all gotta have goals separate. So you gotta have separate and combined goals mm -hmm. to help to drive the relationship forward. Meaning you can't just be oh I'm married and you have this stagnant no goal, no drive, <laughs> this empty cobweb <laughs> Halloween house of marriage, and that's where people get bitter because. I'd be like, oh, I wasted all my life and I ain't did nothing. Because you ain't had no goals. <laughs> you ain't had no goals to drive your relationship to things that pull you. And um, on my for my personal thing is I get, I, there's a lot of things, different things I do. But I tell you, like, if you're one of those men that stay busy, you have to um, create goals outside of yourself that help your marriage the best you can. Especially, like, you know, I'm one of those outside working dudes as far as like in the yard, but if you might be a mechanic type of dude or any type of dude that you are and you have this whole life there, you have to make sure that you include her into those type of things. Is she going to come out there and tinker with the car with you? Is she going to come out there and play 2K? Is she going to come out there and do all these things? Probably not. Not every time, <laughs> but right. the times that count. It yeah. counts. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> so you have to, I don't want to say the man has to be the leader because I'm sure the super high dollar earning women would be like, leader of what? I'm the one making all the money. And I get that. But I'm just saying some, like the, as far as the male type of sense, you have to, you know, be the man in a sense. Uh, and it, what does me the man mean? Um, it means to lead. That's it. And... It's not really about any old gender stereotypes and yeah, so you get, misogynist. You, you it's get, just simply you, you er, the man is the leader. The man is the head for a reason. Yes, you have your times when you lead as the wife, as the partner, because at the end of the day, it is a partnership. But yeah. ultimately, when S hits the fan, the husband, the man is the one that got to come up with the answers to figure out what happened. How did this how did this go awry? Yeah, like, what we're going to do, or, you know, damage control, or all those type of things. But the cool thing about being a man, it's just, it's just as scary as anybody else to be scared about doing something. Yeah. So there's nothing like, uh, you know, maybe it's a soldier thing that just because I'm afraid out of my mind, don't mean I can just be frozen still. Yeah. I still got to, you know move and think and things like that and some that's easier said than done maybe i don't know but when it comes down to relationship things it's one of the most difficult things that you'll ever have to do i think and back to setting goals um, that is going to ebb and flow there won't always be a point where you're trucking got all your goals everything getting crossed off your list there'll be times where you're stagnant because that's life you know, but the key is if you're always trying to move forward, you'll always be progressing no matter what it is. It, these goals can be small things. They can be monumental. It's all up to you. And as long as you have support within each other and also within yourself, you will do it. And you will learn how to pivot when those goals don't come into fruition. But you'll also learn how to readjust to make them something new. Yeah. And really, that's that's really, <laughs> really that's it. I think we kind of covered. At least our, gave you an idea get, of what to expect. What yeah. to expect here? I mean, we covered a whole whole lot. We jumped 
you know, from some major different things. And we'll go into further detail um, in the different episodes that we talk about. We're really just, we're really good about not hiding what we're going to do. There's no gotchas here. Um, we believe in trying to, um, what, further people's understanding of what marriage is, of what, of what it's supposed to be. And what, what is marriage supposed to be? Exactly what you make it. Absolutely. And if you can get that, not with no, because ain't nobody else married, ain't nobody else, you know, it's between you and who you got married with. And you got to take that. And, then, and family pressure is crazy about what, you, what you're supposed to do and things like that. Mm-hmm. And you got to be strong enough to say, no, this is what we're going to do. You know, and we talk about, and that's, and again, that's a mouthful. Yeah. It's not, you ain't going to, if you got it just like that, then you're good. <laughs> because, you know, sometimes it's a little coaching that goes in, goes into that. And it's one thing to know it. It's another thing to actually do it when it's time to, because it, it, it can be challenging. Yeah. Uh, even the most self-assured, and I can say that from experience, even the most self-assured people can fall into the influence of others, especially people that you hold in high regard but this is just a snippet of what you'll be hearing for future episodes definitely stay with us yeah hang out with us hang definitely out, chill. Um, we we go we cover it all on a very uh conversational basis i'm sure we'll crack you up i know we will we're funny like that only because we just be telling the truth the truth to make you laugh a whole bunch of times yeah so. him more than me <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes thank you for tuning in you got any more anything else to add before we? Yes, when you out? go when you go to the web when you go to these videos, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, <laughs> like and subscribe, <laughs> and you know in your sleep, I want you to think, man, that was a great podcast. I need to go like and subscribe. I want you to go check that out. And if you like it better than that, share it with some of your other married friends. Share it with somebody you know that will benefit from it. Yeah. Somebody that's thinking about getting married. Someone who recently got engaged. Yeah. Somebody that's been engaged for 15 years and they ain't jumped a broom yet. Mm-hmm. Share it with them. Yeah, because it's really a cool club. It's the best fraternity to be a part of. <laughs> um, it really is because um, you sign up for this punishment. <laughs> yeah. You're signing up for that. So that makes you... Uh, um, I ain't even got no funny word for it. But you're a trooper. <laughs> right? You're a trooper. You're a good husband. You're a good wife. If you haven't heard of it, you're going to hear it here. We'll tell you that. That Absolutely. is because um, you're t- spending that time with us. We're going to make sure we let you know. If we were sitting down right next to you, holding your hand, we would tell you that you are a good husband, you are a good wife, and you can get a plan to make this marriage what you want it to make. Absolutely. Thank you for your time. And we'll see you next time.